All right, so now that we've figured out how to set up our landing page, um, let's go on over and start customizing our website. So what I will do is I'll need to deactivate my landing page so I can see the changes which are taking place. I'll just click on Update Settings. Okay, so let's go here to the front of my website and we'll see what's going on here. So I have, I'm back to my previous um, version with no content whatsoever. All right, so we'll start off with the very basics of uploading a logo, um, our five icons and so forth. All right, so let's just go to styling. And here we have the option of adding our five icon, our logo and so forth. So I'll click on choose file to select the favicon that I want to add. And here's my favicon. Okay, so it's uploaded. I'll click on add this attachment. Next off, I want to upload my logo. And here I have our U plus we logo. Um, just, there we go. Here it is. So drag it into our upload section. I'll click on add this attachment. I want to make my logo retina. I do not want to add a background image at this point. And um, let's actually go ahead and click on update settings. So we'll refresh the page. And here we have the logo I've added and our favicon will appear shortly. But uh, this is how you start off with the very basics. All right, so now what we want to do is set up an actual home page. And then we'll set up a blog page as well because that will be necessary. So let's just go over here to pages. And we'll click on add new. And this will be our home page. We'll go ahead and publish it straight away. And let's go ahead and add another page, which is our blog page. Okay, so now that we've created our two main pages, let's go on over to settings. We'll click on reading. And we'll set our home pages and our blog page. So here our front page will be home page, and our posts page will be our blog. I can add the amount of blog posts I want to show on my blog at a time. So I'll click on five, and then I'll go ahead and save these changes. Now let's go over here and refresh this page. So as you see here, my page has changed. Um, here's my logo and um, here's my empty home page. So what I want to do at this point is actually um, add some content to my home page. First of all, I just want to start off with creating a basic image slider. Um, before I do so, I want to revert to the home page. And over here, there's a section, uh, it's called Comments and Discussions. I want to disable these discussions. And I'll also want to disable social sharing. And because it's the home page, I also do not want to show my page title. So let's just go on here and update this page. Refresh it. And there we go. My page is completely empty. Now we are ready to start adding content to it. So we'll go to the back end of our website and we'll just click on slideshow and here we have all of the slideshows we've created now currently we don't have any slideshows at, at all so we'll just click on add new and this will be our home page slideshow and now we can select a few files that we want to use so I'll actually go ahead and just drag and drop these three images here. All right, so once the images have been uploaded, I can select the image I want to use. So I could either have this as my first image or this one. 
I'll go with this one. This will be my first image. I'll click on Add This Attachment. Uh, over here, note you can add the image title, you can add um, the image description, uh, subtitle buttons, etc. Um, you can customize the text on the image slider, but at this point I just want to add a simple image. So I'll click on Add to Slideshow. So you'll see that my image has been added here. Now I want to add a second image. I'll need to click on Add this attachment again. Add to Slideshow. And finally I want to add the third image that I've uploaded. And um, we'll go ahead and publish our slider. Alright, so now that we've published the slider, we'll go over onto our home page within the pages section. And here we have an area where it says slideshow settings. Now within the slideshow settings, we can uh, select a slideshow that we want to showcase on our home page. So I'll just refresh the back end of this page to make sure that the changes will appear here. And over here now I have the option to select my home page slideshow. So I've selected that. And I can go ahead and click on update. I'll refresh my page. And here's a slideshow that I've added. Alright, so this is uh, one option that you can have for um, adding a slideshow to your home page. Next off, within the home page, we have several options as to how you can customize it. So essentially, over here we have a, a template which we can select. We, we could either select a gallery template which would connect us with a specific gallery, and you'll need to select your gallery here. We can have latest galleries, and it will display all of our latest galleries that we've uploaded. We also have the option of latest videos and a single video. Um, at the moment, what I want to do is I'll just want to add an image, an about image. So here's the image that I want to use. I'll drag and drop it here. Now I'll click on insert into page. Actually before that, there we go. I just want to make sure that it's aligned to the left. I'll click on insert into page. Here's my image. And now I want to add some description text to that image. I've added this here and I'll click on update. Let's go here and refresh our home page. And so now we have an image slider. And we have a small about me section on the home page. So now what I'll go ahead and do is actually add a few galleries and blog posts. And uh, we'll just see what other options we have to showcase on the home page.